Welcome to Swift Studios. In the last part, we divided our animated CC into five parts. So let me recap this. So our first part was toolbar, which is from here to here. And the second part was tools, which is here. And third part was properties and libraries, which is this. And fourth part was stairs from here to here. And the fifth part was timeline and output. So today we are going to talk about toolbars. So if you see there are lots of options in toolbars and these all options are very basic and you can try it out manually. So I will only talk about the important functions of toolbars. So let's start with file. As you can see, these are all very basics, and you can try this all manually. So I don't need to explain anything from here. Let's move to edit. And edit, we these all are very common, and you can also try this all without the help of others. So I don't need to explain anything from here as well. So let's go to view. In view, I can in view. These are important things in here: rulers, grid, guides, and snappings. So you can try this. So among these, we will be probably using rulers and grids. So what this does is, if you click on here, it will show the ruler, and if you click on this here again, it will the ruler will disappear. And if you want to show grid so click on show grid so this is our grid and you can also edit the grids and make this size bigger for example this grid is of 10 pixel width and 10 pixel height you can change this and make 100 pixel so this is our grid of 100 pixel so let's remove our grid by going to click remove grid so these are important things this and these are important things from view tab and let's move to insert tab in insert tab these things are important but we'll explain these things in other videos new symbols motion twins classics classic twins shape twins timeline scenes are all things that are from here and here so we'll explain this in other videos so let's go to modify tab in modify tab these things are all all general and very basics you can try this all by yourself so the only thing that we will we'll, we will use frequently from here is transform transform thing and in here rotation clockwise and clockwise counterclockwise and flip things flip vertical and horizontal and group and ungroup the only things that we use are these two these two things so let's i'll show you how to flip horizontal flip vertical or horizontal so let's make an arrow in here so this is our arrow so i'll flip this modify transform and so I'll rotate this 90 degree so this will this is rotated 90 degree so what I'll do is rotate this counterclockwise 90 degrees so it will be back to our previous position so this here we go so we can flip this horizontal so this is pointing this direction and let's rotate this to 90 degree and flip this vertical so this will so in down direction and if we if we have two or more arrows so we have two arrows and if we do con group it will become as one and we can move this two with as a group and if we want to remove group just go to and do on group so these are things from modify tab 
and text things testing text are basically properties so we'll discuss this in this part so commands we don't need to use any commands from here and in our control we need one thing that is from control test so press control enter to test suppose we have created a movie clip which is circle that is moving from here to here the circle this is, this is moving from here to here and if we do control test this will show the circle moving from here to here so we are going to use this control test a lot and in debug tab we don't use debug tab this, these are for programmers so we'll be using this for after we write programs in windows tab we can see lots of options this you can try this in your own these lots of options are that that are ticked are displayed in here that are not ticked are not displayed so you can try this all manually when you have lots of time and in this help section if you click on any of this this will get you more knowledge about Adobe Animate CC through web and in here finally we have lots of things if you click on animator this will create a, a layout for animators and if you click on classic this will create layout for people that are using older version of this if we click on debug these are for programmers and developers and designers are this is for creating high quality graphics and small screens are for laptops those computers which have small screens and since we are beginners this is essentials for beginners now the new thing about this new and good thing about this is that if we make this drag this and delete this mistakenly and we don't know how to get all these things back you can go here and click on reset essentials and click on s all of these things will be back so this is all about our toolbars and i'll see you in next video when we will discuss about tools